Okay, so today is gonna to be a rebuttal and discussion video from an article that came out on Monday from the Canadian Medical Association Journal, where they reported that a 54-year-old male entered kidney failure. The doctors were baffled as to why, and after investigation, they uncovered that he had been taking 8,000 to 12,000 international units of vitamin D for the last two and a half years. Now, I wanna highlight the concern this article has caused and where maybe some things went wrong. The first thing I want to address is, because you've heard me talk about vitamin D a lot over the last few months, is that if you're going to take high doses of vitamin D, you must be tracking the levels in the blood. You should do a pre and a post test, and only if there's a deficiency should you be going above 5,000 international units daily. So to be on eight to 12,000 for two and a half years without proper tracking is crazy. If people want maintenance doses, you hang out around that four to 5,000 range, and there should be no problems. The other thing you must do is take vitamin D with vitamin K2. Vitamin D helps pull calcium from your food into your bloodstream. From there, you want vitamin K2 to actually get that calcium into your bones and teeth so it doesn't build up in the blood because probably what happened in this case was the megadoses of vitamin D for too long caused the calcium to build up so high in the blood, it leads to hypercalcemia, and then you can get stone formation throughout the body. And in this case, it jammed up his kidneys and has led to kidney failure. And finally, if you are going to dose high amounts of vitamin D, whether it's short term or long term, you don't wanna be taking calcium supplements at the same time for the reasons I just mentioned. That said, there are safe ways to do this. Of course, there's a toxic limit for everything. Um, water has a, a lethal dose. Vitamins have a toxic dose as well. So you need to be smart about this. You can't just be blindly taking stuff in high, high amounts. That's why anytime I dose someone high, I'm always checking and monitoring their blood levels. This was brought to our attention from one of our good friends, Caitlin, because she thought we might be harming ourselves. And I got news for you. Amber will be just fine. I will be just fine. I make sure to keep our maintenance doses around four to 5,000 every day. Um, but I know there's a lot of other concern floating around out there. So if you have any questions on this, I'm sure a lot of you read this article. It stirred up some controversy. So I, I definitely want to be a bit of a spokesperson for this so that we can understand what happened, what went wrong, and how to do this smart going forward. So any questions at all, definitely let me know um, because vitamin D is near and dear to my heart. I do believe that there's an epidemic of deficiency, but we have to be clever in how we replete these levels. Have a great day.